Well, good morning. Last night was very stormy. It was raining a lot. We woke up, I think, like three or four times in the early hours of the morning because of the wind. I was terrified that the chairs on the patio were gonna fly away. The wind was 25 mile an hour winds with up to 50 mile an hour gusts. And then it snowed, but because of the wind and the rain that had happened, it's not so much snow as it is frozen ice that's a little snowy. I can't even open the patio door because it's like frozen shut. Yeah, let me flip you around and show you our view of this snowy, frozen-y, cold wonderland. <laughs> it's not so much snow as it is just ice. <laughs> So yeah, it's cold though, so I get to wear the jacket Matt got me. I'm so excited. It's like 30 degrees outside right now. Two days ago, it was 75 degrees. Today, 30 in snow. <laughs> ah, climate change. So we just got back in from taking Ethan out. Matt's already gone to work. But when we were getting ready to walk outside the door, look what got here. Our first HelloFresh. So I think I mentioned that we're doing HelloFresh for the month of January to get our like at home cooking creative juices flowing. We're doing five meals a week for two people. So let's open it up and show you what we got. The rosemary demi gloss pork chops. This one I'm really excited about. Chili ginger pork noodles. Very excited about that one. Almond, apricot, and chickpea tagine. We got creamy dill chicken. I'm really excited about that one. And sweet chili beef and green bean bowls. <laughs> there we go. So those are the meals. So I'm gonna put this all up really quick. I'm gonna freeze two of them and not freeze two of them. I've been wanting to do a meal kit for so long. And finally I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Easton's like right underneath me smelling the meat. He's like, can I have some? No. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait to do these. If you guys want to try it, meaning Derek, if you want to try this, let me know because I have a code on my app. Yeah, super excited. I can't wait to show you guys me cooking because I've been in such a cooking rut. Literally in the past like seven months, I think I have cooked from scratch, maybe less than 10 times. Typically it's either takeout, Matt's cooking, leftovers, frozen meals, or something that's very simple, but not from scratch, like my chicken and dumplings. So yeah, I'm very excited to cook now. Super pumped. Plus we'll have all of these recipe cards. So if we really like something, we have it here and we can just remake it. I pretty much spent the last hour doing some online shopping just for stuff that we need for the apartment. Um, I made a lunch, I have an egg salad sandwich, some chips and dip, not healthy at all, but using up what we have before we go grocery shopping on Thursday. The stuff that I got, I'll show you guys when it gets here, but it's not exciting. It's just like organization stuff. It is really cold sitting by this window. I mean, you can see that most of the snow is melted. That's just, <laughs> you can see all of the frozen ice that was just blown into the screens in the window. But yeah, most of the snow is melted out there. Hopefully we'll have another snow day where it's like a big snow day and they close the restaurant because those are my favorite days with Matt. We have a tradition where when we have a snow day, get all the stuff to make like a delicious soup and we make that soup. Buddy! Hi Phoebe, thanks for joining us. Hi honey! I'm catching up on some YouTube. And then I'd like to start on the bathroom today because I'm sick of having like three bathroom boxes in our bedroom. I've set a goal to not play The Sims until Matt's weekend. And it is Monday, so I do need to like be productive on a Monday. I was gonna take all of our stuff to donate to the places, but one, I couldn't find where I want to take it yet. And two, I'm not driving today in this weather. I'm gonna keep watching YouTube, finish my lunch, and just get shit done. Are your feet cold on this ice? Be careful, buddy. It's very slippery, honey. Hey. Like this chair is just like concave and in the rain and being wet and then frozen the weight of the of the ice on here. <laughs> Buddy, look at the outside windows. How is this? Let's see if you Whoa, what's that? Okay, Easton, come on. Let's go outside. Man, it's cold out there. He wanted to go out, so I was like, you know what? Let's go stand on the patio. But I did a lot of the bathroom, so let me come show you. We got more boxes out here that I need to break down that are empty. I mean, it's still like a mess in here. I need to take some of this stuff out. But the bathroom, pretty much done. I washed some makeup brushes, but I also have all my new makeup brushes over here. Hey. I got my drawers, 
maps drawers and then in here medicine there's like travel stuff back there hair stuff head stuff washcloths <laughs> wasn't as many things as i thought it was going to be putting up so mm, i'm failing at everything i just spent hours on this sim so why do i keep doing this so let me tell you a story about my sims <laughs> and how they pissed me off so i'm I definitely made a sim self and I made Matt and then we had a family and there was four kids and they all went to college and then after my youngest was in college and he came back to move out again to like buy a house guess what we had another random baby I didn't decide to have a baby they just decided themselves to have another baby so when I was an empty nester a surprise baby but then I moved them into the new cottage living town my sim self and Matt's sim self we're supposed to be living their like happy child free English cottage core dream life. Now there's a baby involved. I didn't even get to choose the name, but I I, I like the name. Eh, Matt's gonna be home soon. I need to make that pork chop stuff, but I'm not gonna do it until he gets home because I don't want him to eat cold food. It's 12.30 almost, so. I think I started playing at like seven. Got out the ingredients, all the stuff I needed to get out. I'm so excited to start making this. Matt and I cooked the HelloFresh meal. This is what it looks like. This is what we got. Yeah. It's not as pretty as the picture because we just didn't try to make it pretty like the picture, but it looks pretty good. Matt cooked the pork. It's almost identical, just the sauce is not over the Yeah. Pork. All right. And we'll... the rosemary's better chopped than the picture. <laughs> all right. We will give you the consensus after we eat. So we're getting ready for bed. Just as he starts brushing his teeth. I just wanted to say that I like the dinner. Did you like it? Head nod. He didn't like the sauce, it was too sweet. I wasn't the biggest fan of the pork, but I wasn't hating it like I thought I would. But yeah, it was a success for the first night. Tomorrow we have the apricot chickpea something else tagine. Which I'm pretty excited about. That's gonna be our vegetarian one. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning to the first smoothie of the year. Even though it looks disgusting, it tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie. Got a whole banana, 10 strawberries, handful of blueberries, handful of spinach, some dashes of lemon, water. That's it. I just took a shower and I decided that I'm gonna do a face mask today. I've converted this drawer, the bottom one on my side, to being like extras of like cotton balls and Q-tips and stuff. But I also put in like self-care things like face masks and nail polish. I only have one nail polish, but I'm gonna do a face mask today. I'm gonna do this one that I got two years ago for Christmas. Oh God, where am I going? Oh. I'm gonna do this one that I got two years ago for Christmas that Matt got. A little self-care on this Tuesday. I have some fun news to tell you guys. I can't remember if I told you that I was in fantasy football, but I'm in fantasy football and I'm playing with Matt's league at work. So his restaurant has a league and the finals were this weekend. I was in the championship final, meaning I was gonna win some money either way. First place gets a lot, second place gets a hundred bucks. First I think is 350, something like that fucking won. <laughs> I won fantasy football, which with that, and then with the money from that catering event and Christmas money, I think I'm going to get a new camera. Cool. <gasps> Face mask. Are you ready? Space kitten. T-zone clearing galactic people off. Mask. You ready to see this? It's a very, very, very black mask. Okay, 20 minutes later, I got laundry going. I got a load of dishes in the dishwasher and I'm almost done hand washing. So let's peel this off. Done in here. Let's go 
finish some dishes and clean this place up. <laughs> This is why I stopped watching TV in the last like two months of 2021 because I don't get shit done. So I edited the Christmas video and I started editing the next video, like the week in my life. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna take a break from screen. And I moved all that stuff into the room. I did a bunch of laundry, you know, I've done the dishes. I was productive today. And then I was like, I'll watch an episode of Emily in Paris while I take a break from work. And then I watched another one and another one, and another one, and I finished the season. I watched seven episodes today, but I filmed this funny TikTok, look at it. I broke the scale. That's how hot I am. <gasps> A 10. <laughs> Just kidding, it works. <laughs> I'm hilarious. 11.05. And Matt wants me to cook the dinner before he gets home this time. I don't know why he doesn't enjoy cooking with me. It's not like I nag. Let me see how long this, this dinner is going to take. Today's the apricot almond chickpea tagine with zucchini basami, bas, basmati rice and chermuda. Prep is 10, cook is 30. So I'm gonna sit here and read the directions before I start because I didn't do that yesterday and I definitely did stuff wrong. We got the goods. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need now that that is all prepped, hey, I have you guys up on <laughs> that. I wish I could show you. But the handles on the cabinets, the one right in front of me has two. So I'm literally sliding you in and you fit perfect. Okay, um, <laughs> so took longer to prep than I thought. I'm wearing my apron that Matt got me. So I'm gonna start on everything. I need to make the rice. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. Well, it's like almost 3.30. Good afternoon. <laughs> I woke up at like 1.45, but really I woke up at nine and I was so tired and felt like crap. And I tried to go back to sleep because I just felt terrible. And I was like, I'm just gonna keep trying and keep trying. And eventually like, I, I have no idea what time it is. So I looked at the clock and it was 1.45 and I was like, oh dang. Okay, I guess I'm just not sleeping. So I got up and took Easton out and emailed some people but I'm in the car because I'm about to go run to Trader Joe's. I gotta pick up some stuff because I am making a cake from my Snacking Cakes book from Christmas. All right, well, I'm home and I have you guys in the cabinet again. I'm gonna do a super quick Trader Joe's haul. I literally only have one bag of things. I got more than I needed to, but I also bought wine, so. <laughs> I got this trail mix, it looked good. Then I bought this frozen meal, it looked good. Matt's been complaining about not having frozen meals, so. So I got Matt this, I have no idea if you'll like it. It was like a $5.99 wine. Couldn't tell you what it is. Montepulciano de Abruzzo. That was terrible, just a red wine. It said it had like slight hints of blackberry. This is the one I got for me. Le Ferme Julien. I'm guessing the goat is Julien. Just a white wine. What I went for, I needed buttermilk. So I bought some buttermilk. I needed strawberries. Got them berries, 
I needed another lemon. I think I got two actually, just in case I needed two lemons. I know I have baking soda and baking powder. I don't have them labeled. Plus they're like super, super old. And I know that stuff like can expire and not work. So I'm just gonna replace those. I got this new seasoning. It's not new to Trader Joe's, but it's new to me. Cuban style citrusy garlic. Sounds really good. And the last thing I got was some frozen taquitos. Super quick, just literally ran in, ran out. Took me 10 minutes in there. I think I'm gonna finish editing that one video I was working on. And then later I'm gonna make a lemony olive oil cake with a strawberry and Aperol citrus glaze. I actually might try to do it for the, I might try to maybe do a podcast. <laughs> that was cute. Yeah. I love you. I just don't feel good and I'm kind of cold even though I shouldn't be cold and I'm so tired so I'm going to take a bath first bath in this apartment <laughs> and I'm really excited so I just need something to make me feel better and I feel like baths typically do make me feel better you're back on the cabinet God, it's nine o'clock now I took a really really nice bath that was then ruined by Matt telling me that people at work have been testing positive for COVID and that we need to get tested. We're literally getting our boosters tomorrow. We're showing no symptoms. So we're gonna go ahead and go through with it. That's fun, we have tests scheduled for tomorrow. And his mom has at home COVID tests. So we have to run down there and pick up some stuff from her house. And we're gonna grab one of those tests too so that they can take that at home and get an immediate result. What was a really nice relaxing bath where I was just laying in the bath watching TikToks. Like that bath is so deep. It was so nice, wonderful, oh, relaxing. And then we got to get tested. Son of a bitch. I kind of just want to eat and go to sleep. I want to make this cake. But this, I don't think I talked about this last night. This meal, amazing, absolutely delicious. I loved it so much. So did Matt. This is going to be something that we're going to try to recreate on our own. Cool, so I have the cake in the oven. I'll show you, let me turn the light on real quick. But bam, it's got about 22 minutes to 32 minutes left. It's from the Snacking Cakes cookbook by Yasi Arfi. I'm probably butchering that name. I'll link it down below. It's a lemony olive oil cake. Uh, all I have to do is the glaze after it's done cooling and it takes a while to cool. Dinner is served. The cake is done. Matt is home. <laughs> I'm not so sure about the glaze. Is it a strawberry that, glaze? It's a strawberry Aperol. That's a mini cake? It's a snacking cake! This would be a snacking cake. No, that would be a cupcake, which is a miniature version of a cake. This is just like half a cake. There's like 16 cupcakes in this. There is not! <laughs> okay, stop judging my cake and how big it is and look at the dinner. It's the sweet chili beef and green... <laughs> it got wet. <laughs> We really liked last night's dinner. Let's see how much we like tonight. So definitely ate all of it. I really liked it. Did you like it? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. I liked last night's better. Did you? Surprisingly, yeah. It I was, know, weirdly, I did like last night's vegetarian. better. Vegetarian. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try the cake now. Oh, yeah. oh You forgot about the cake? A rare sight. <laughs> came to an agreement. I told her be nice and I'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Just be nice. So be nice. What do you think of my cake? It was really good. It was pretty good. I was worried about the Aperol glaze, the strawberry Aperol glaze, because just by itself, it tasted too bitter. But with the cake, it tasted really good. And Matt usually isn't like a dessert person, but he said he liked the cake. It was uh, light and fluffy and citrusy. And so we just took Easton out. No hobos tonight. I don't think I told you guys there was homeless people going through the dumpsters last night. That was a lot of fun. That's slightly terrifying. Really going through them. Yeah, like one on each side of each little door of the dumpster, digging in there, tearing open trash bags and stuff. So I emailed the apartments about it today and they said they're trying to handle it. There was none out there tonight. I'm gonna end the video off here because tomorrow is Matt's weekend. So I still haven't edited a lot of videos. However, it's pre-period week. So emotions and period flu and all that fun stuff has been happening. Hasn't been fun. It's almost over and usually the week of my period, I'm fine. You turtle turtle. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Say bye. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs>